Here I stand after the Elite Four. Hey, I've made it this far so far. I'm alive and well. I don't know how long that's going to last, but I'm going to try to keep everybody alive. I still have a lot of Pokemon left, Kieran. Don't take them away from me. As long as I live, and as long as there's no crazy stories after the battle with Kieran, I will be fine. I'll see you guys up here. Actually, I won't see you guys up anywhere. I'm just going to run up here and I'm not going to cut. I don't, shouldn't need to. In fact, I didn't even know there was a door here, honestly. I fast traveled every time I left here, so I never even checked out that there was a door. All right. Kieran, where you at? I think he's at the entrance. The difficulty may have increased, but I can tell you this, Kieran, wherever you're at, the sacrificial lambs known as my team are ready to go. I don't know where Kieran's at, though. Let's check. There it is. Hey, yo, need a marquee. He's supposed to say, yo, 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 champ in the making. Ready to sign up for your official match? Yeah, all that crap was unofficial. You're Nito Marquis, yes? Let's get your championship match set up. This will just take a moment. So, Nito Marquis, you said you and Kieran are friends, right? Uh, yeah, yeah well, sort of. No need to be shy about it. Friend drama is just part of life at your age. You know what I want to do? Um, here's the Draster's take. I liked Kieran better when his hair was down. Yeah, he's going through that emo phase right now. He used to be quiet little guy, trembled like a leaf, had a spine of a wimpod. He'd hide behind Carmine if you so much as breathed too loud. But I'll tell you what, when it came to Pokemon battling, I never saw so much joy in someone's eyes as his. But then, out of nowhere, he changed. Yeah, that was me, and I'm actually, you know what, <laughs> I kind of want to see, because if I throw Ogre Pond out at him, does he say something about it? Now he's relentless, pushes himself, pushes everyone around him. Nothing's good's going to come out of this. Someone's got to snap him out of it, that's me. I tried, but I couldn't do it. Guess I've gone soft from the lazy life, so now I guess it falls to you. Sorry, bud. Sorry to keep you waiting, everything's ready. Are you ready to battle Kieran? No, actually. You know what? I, I, I kind of want to go into this really quickly. Please come back when you're ready. Um, I Okay, so the team is not going to change. I'm going to leave the exact same team up here that I had. But before I do this, I, I kind of want to see if I just go in with Ogre Pond. What does he say? I seriously bet there's got to be some dialogue. Give me one sec. All right, let's do this. Are you ready for the er, to battle Kieran? The BB League champion. I am. I did look up his dialogue. I just didn't want to feel... I didn't feel like doing all that because uh, I'm like, you know what? Let's just get the show on the road. So he does yell at you if you use Ogre Pond. I was impressed that they put that in there. Your championship match will begin soon. Please make sure you are ready. Well, it's all up to you now, Nita Marquis. Me and the other Elite Three will be cheering you on. The Frigid Knight. This is an official BB League announcement. A championship match is about to begin at the battle court near the entrance of the academy. If you would like to watch the match, please make your way there. And there he is. I'm ready, Kieran. I've endured a lot to get to you. It's been a very short Nuzlocke, just diving into the Elite Four like this. But it's been painful. Oh, look at that. We got a little cutscene. He goes, you kept me waiting. I worked so hard for the chance to show you what I can really do, Nito Marquis, me with those Sith eyes. I put everything into studying and making my Pokemon stronger. I crushed the Elite Four and became champion. All of that hard work. All of it. Ooh, why do I look like the bad guy? All of it was just so that I could beat you right here, right now. I mean, I did steal his ogre. I would be pretty pissed if I was an NPC with a storyline about that ogre. There it goes. And uh, and then some player comes by who paid for the game, so he has the right to have the Pokemon. And I got shafted out of what would be a good storyline Pokemon. Politoed and Dragonite. Why does this team... <laughs> we're, we have like mirrors of each other going on here. I know I'm making the right choice. You'll understand that soon enough. All right, so Politoed's Drizzle. There is like a 10,000% chance I've got a Thunder coming, and it's going to be on my water type, dude. This 
I think this one's a telegraphed easy read. I have been so wrong about some of these in the past, but I think we just go for a Draco Meteor. Let's see. Dragonite is... I don't think I can take Dragonite out with a single Draco Meteor, but let's let's see if he goes for Thunder on Leviasi. Here comes Draco Meteor. I am impressed. At least I outspeed Politoed. All right. Wowzers. Doesn't matter if the type matchups work out for you, though. I'll still win. Nah, that, that's... You're, you're probably not gonna, man. I'm just saying. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. Look who... Yeah, that was an easy one. All right, so check it out. Politoed, what do you got? What what uh, Ice Beam on the Dragon? All right, so I've got an idea then. Check this out. How do you like that? See how hard I've trained? You, you, you're not, you're not like the kid you battled in Kitakami. Um, you called out an attack. Is that really impressive? Go with Dragon Dance, and then let's go Draco Meteor and take out the Dragonite. Ooh, Helping Hand. Perfect. I outspeed Dragonite. He's dead. I got a free Dragon Dance out of this. I'm going to have to switch out. All right, let's see what he brings in. So you've got Ice Beam on Politoed, Helping Hand. And if he brings out anybody else that has Thunder, I'm going to have some issues. Oh, yeah, dude. I got a Dragon Dance off on this. Nice. Seedra is set up. I mean, the speed is really the only thing that matters. I don't have any physical attackers. Why on God's Earth are you sending out a an Incineroar? I would love to know why you just sent a freaking Incineroar out. <laughs> All right, so uh, something's up here. Something's not right about this. Why did he bring out Incineroar? Go for Protect. I'm worried about you right now. Um, send out Runaclus. Enigma, you're coming out. Something's wrong, dude. He's going to have Thunder Punch or something outspeed. I got to see. I mean, I outspeed him, so I don't know why I used Protect, to be honest. I just wanted to Protect during a switch. Helping Hand. He's going to go for Thunder. He can't learn Thunder, can he? There's no way he can learn that. What is he going for? Telegraph your moves for me one more time. What do you got? Fake Out? Okay. Well, I mean, I, I guess I didn't see that coming. Um, but that was not what I thought you had, so let's kill him, dude. Die, and then you... Uh, so we've got special and physical attacks going on here. So let's put up a light screen. Kill him one shot. I have Mystic Water in the rain, dude. Yep. I was going to say, unless he has a Focus Sash. Oh, dude, and I crit. I could have taken two Incineroars out. Even Lux choosing you, chosen you over me. It's not fair. It's not fair. Karen, I don't know if you know this, but you're not looking too good out there right now, man. I mean, you gave me your water, so the drizzle has helped me out. I was going to say, that's gonna that's not going to hurt a lot, but it procced my Citrus Berry, which is good. And it's a special attack, so my Light Screen's going to save me on this. All right, Light Screen's up. What you got next? Porygon Z. Ah, uh, ooh. Ooh, Porygon Z. Yikes. So this is the difficulty I've got here. That weather ball is probably going to be enough to take Enigma out. Go for high. Do well. I mean, you know what we're going to do? Hold on. You're a water type Terra. Ooh. Go for Hydro Pump. Outspeed him with the rain, with your Mystic Water, with a Terra type, and let's go protect on Enigma. If I don't take this thing out in one shot, it's because I missed. Let me take a sip of the coffee. I got a good cup of coffee here. You guys know that. You uh, you guys always know I got a good cup of coffee going here. There we go. All right, Cedra, kill them. Hopefully he can't resist himself. Hopefully he wants Enigma dead. There we go. Land it. Single shot kill. Come on, this is a killer. Oh, yeah, dude. I was going to say, there's no way you're living that. Mathematically, there is no way you have enough hp to, to live a shot like that weather ball on runoclus nice you went for the bait all right so uh, although i'm not gonna die actually because oh there goes the rain back in my day our rain didn't run out because it was if it was an ability that caused the rain the rain didn't run out so hydro pump on grim snarl and let's go hmm you know what we could do? We could use a healing item on you, but then... Yeah, you know what? Go for Reflect. I don't know what you're going to have. He puts up a light screen of his own. All right, I was going to say, you have two Pokemon that are setting up here. This is kind of weird. Um, this might actually... You might live this now. 
I don't have the rain and you have a light screen. Oh man, you live that very comfortably actually. Psychic on the water type. Hits, but it doesn't hit very badly. There's a reflect. So if they're both going, or if they end up both going for Leviathan, I could have a problem here. Um, do I want to? Yeah, you know what? Let's switch out. So if he's going psychic, we can't go into you, of course. But then let's switch into. I wish I knew what Grimmsnarl had. Nobody uses attacking moves on Grimmsnarl. Um, let's go Eerie. Switch Eerie in. And then Enigma uses Protect. Yeah, let's see if we can bait. I'm hoping they go for Enigma. They don't have a reason to. I, if I were him, I'd be going after Cedra, absolutely. But Cedra is going to outspeed a lot of Pokemon, so I can save it for whenever I need it. So hopefully they go for you, Enigma. I've seen him use Weather Ball on you. Reflect, he's he's got the same stuff I've got. All right, so I just need to I just need to wait. Psychic, yeah, that, I, I had a feeling that was coming. It's not gonna do much. All right, so now the question is, let's go with my own Protect and let's go Psychic on. Uh, I well, I can't use it on you. I, I like how it at least says it. I'm trying to decide here. Yeah, you know what? Because I got I have healing items I could use. Just go for psychic. I basically just gonna be tossing protect back and forth. But I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna use ice beam, or he's gonna focus ice beam on you. Yep. All right, that was an easy one to call. I could risk the double protect if psychic does enough. Spirit break. Okay, so you did have something that could attack. Look at these guys. They're trying to go for him, man. They're trying to do it. Now the question is, do I outspeed? I, and the answer is probably not. All right, your team's light screen wore off. So now the question is, Enigma is going to put up a light screen. Bullet Seed, are you fast enough? I doubt it. What is your speed again, Two Cannon? It's You're slow, right? 114. You, you, you're not going to outspeed a Politoed. Does the Ice Beam kill? So if I use... Uh, ooh, yeah, we, we've got a couple of problems here, don't we? Um, I think the Citrus Berry will hold off. Let's go with Bullet Seed. And you got to put up a light screen. Sucker Punch on Enigma. Nice. Okay, you went for the Dark type move. Look at that. All right, Ice Beam does not kill. It kills. It absolutely kills. <laughs> no, Eerie, you're the first death, aren't you? I, I've been doing pretty well up until now. All right, here's a light screen. Now the question is... Do we go in with Typhon and try and attack, 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 attack? Or do I throw in something a little more corrosive? Um, I think we throw in Contaminatus because Politoed can't hurt Contaminatus that much and Spirit Brick can't even touch him. So I'm going to say we do this. Um, Politoed, what items do you have? Actually, it doesn't matter. Put up a Substitute Doll and... Actually, don't even bother with the substitute. Gunk Shot and Enigma. Psychic on Politoed. I think I think he's not going to go for you. I think I think he's going to go for... Oh, he goes for Helping Hand. So he's going for Enigma then, which is good because I've got a light screen up. So Spirit Break. On to a Contaminatus. You, you actually went for it. I, I thought you would do... I mean, you know you're not going to do that much damage. Ooh, Survives. Poison, Poison. Yeah! Poison. I was going to say... I can't believe he actually did try to attack me with Spirit Break. It doesn't do that much. I'm a Dark Poison type, so you're hitting neutral, but they went for it anyway. All right. Kieran, you're not looking great, but, I mean, I might... I'm trying to keep everybody alive, but I've got to get some safe switches here. So there goes the Reflect, and there goes your Light Screen. So just... Oh, just go down already. How are you still standing after everything I've thrown at you? You haven't thrown that much at me, dude. Hi, Drapple. Huh. Super sweet syrup. I, I hate this thing. Yeah, I, I, I was going to say, he's going to be using that sticky crap. Um, the question is, how fast are you? Hmm. I could go for a gunk shot on you. I think that's the move we go for, but I'm worried that... Let's go knock off and try to knock any items you might have. 
And then let's go protect on you. Here's the hope. I'm hoping that you guys both attack. Uh-oh. I don't need the old me anymore. I've changed. And I'll show you I can change again. All right. So what is he doing? Dragon type? Because if he does dragon type, then this is pretty good. I've got a fast dragon. Typhon will come in and destroy this thing. Fighting? Is that fighting? That was a fist. That's fighting? You went fighting, dude. That's... All right, so now, actually, I'm in quite the opposite problem here. Typhon is not exactly the kind of Pokemon that I want to be using right now. All right, so I don't outspeed, right? Enigma, I hope he's going for you. I really do. Otherwise, Con Contaminatus is gone, dude. Knock off. All right, let's see what you got. Poison Touch, too. I, for I forgot about that, actually. Uh, d did you not have an item? Where where's Assault Vest is gone. Ooh, nice. Oh, God. Well, <laughs> that's very unfortunate. <laughs> Muck, I am so sorry. I should have done better with you. All right, so he's got ground moves. He's a fighting type, which means you're not coming in. You're coming in. I don't really want to lose Cedra, but I have no choice. You're terrestrialized. You're fast. His light screen is down. This is it, man. Hydro pump on you. And just in case, let's just all hands on deck kill him. Lands the Hydro Pump. Good hit. Does uh, Runiclus get the chance to finish you off, or are you going to die? Don't take Seedra out. 2 HP. There was even a lag there. Ah, oh, Terra Blast. He's going to kill you. Oh, no, 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 no. Fist in the face. Seedra. He's, he's gotten a lot of kills in the last little two Pokemon here. It's just... I, oh, come on. Enigma, you got to kill him. Kill him. Good. I was going to say, it's super effective, man. You, you take him out. I shouldn't have used Protect. That was the mistake. Maybe I would... I don't know how much I would have... No, I would have saved Seedra. I made a bad call. I made a bad Protect, and everything would have been fine if I hadn't done that. All right. Swap in Typhon. All right, so you've got Ice Beam, so here's... I oh, I was going to Terrastalize. I can't. Um, go for Draco Meteor on you, and then let's go Healing Item on you as well. I think he's going to attack you, so I don't remember how many healing... Yeah, this is a last healing item. This is just to ensure that he's he's done here. I just want to make sure Runaclus doesn't die, and I think he's going to go for Typhon, not Runaclus. He's, oh, he's alive. I was going to say, he's not going to go for anything. He's done. All right, so let's see. Ice Beam on the dragon, which it doesn't hurt, but all right, we're good. All right, team's light screen is gone, and uh, Draco Meteor again, and just in case, use Protect in case I miss something here. Draco Meteor, I think, has 85. I don't think it's 100% accuracy. I don't remember off the top of my head right now. Yeah, it's not. Okay, so just in case, you did miss. Ice Beam, all right, at least you're focused. He's focusing on you. All right, so all hands on deck. Draco Meteor and uh, and Psychic. Um, I got to think about this. I got to think about this because, you know what? Yeah, let's, uh, so he's using Ice Beam. Just in case I miss again, swap into Baron and, uh, oh, no. Oh, no. I just messed up. I didn't mean to do that. I thought I went back. Oh, crap. There was a mistake. Uh, don't miss your Draco Meteor. Oh, my God. Don't miss your Draco Meteor. Oh, my God. Ice Beam. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I meant to switch into you so that Runaclus could fix, finish him off. Oh, I didn't mean to. I thought I went back, too. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's that's so terrible. That can't happen. No, I didn't lose my shiny. I didn't lose my shiny. I lost my shiny. I can't believe that. Oh, I didn't mean that to happen. Oh, no. BB League champion Kieran is defeated. What? Huh? I messed up. Oh, I can't believe I did that. I'm going to honor the death. I'm going to honor the death. I really am. I did not mean to lose Arkaludon or Duraludon, rather. Let's go, guys. Oh, they, they, oh, come on. It was a good match. 
nobody would walk away. No. Why? This wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, he's, he's, he's actually, dude, he's literally blacking out like us. Like when I lose and I have to rush to the Poke Center. Way to go, both of you. That was awesome. Uh, maybe, yeah. What, Lacey, are you, uh, honestly, Crispin, read the room. Okay, I was going to say, Crispin. Drayton. Good match, you two. He's going to punch him. Too bad about the outcome, though, huh? He's He looks like he's, like, ex-champion. Dude, he looks like he's got, like, a Giratina waiting. I can't believe I did that. Look at you, buddy. Way to go. It's the end of the Nuzlocke, man. I'm, I'm going to honor the death and just... <laughs> I can't believe I switched out the wrong Pokemon. I meant to switch into the other one so I could land the Psychic. I didn't hit back far enough. Oh, my God. Guess we got a new BB League champion. The Academy's got a prize for people like you who make it all the way to being a champion. The Nuzlocke is over. So I'm just going to say, like, I won. Duraludon, if I had more story to go, unless there is. maybe uh, Here, all yours. Oh, a Master Bomb. They're okay. It's actually... Uh, why do you even have that? You're a student. If there's more Nuzlocke to go, I will honor my screw up and Duraludon is off the team mainly because Duraludon's like level 92 anyways now so I'm gonna take it like a man I'm gonna take it in stride hey Kieran this may not mean much coming from a guy who couldn't beat you but I wish you'd go back to having fun with all of this I get that burning desire to win I mean who doesn't like winning just don't let that desire burn you to a crisp it's hard to watch Come on, let's all go and uh win next time. I feel dude, it's like he's got a he's got a Giratina or something. He's going psycho. I, I've seen this look before. I won't lose. Next time for sure I'll I'll win. Next time I'll win. Um I I should probably say absolutely nothing. I should probably say something. Uh Kieran, man, bro. We're cool. Nina Marquis, I... Uh, oof. This guy should be on a prevention plan. <clears throat> if we might uh, interrupt. Well, first, of course, we want to offer Nina Marquis our congratulations for becoming champion. It's really an amazing achievement, something that should be celebrated. But with the way things are going now, I'm sorry to say that it does, well, complicate matters. We're having a bit of a hard time knowing how we ought to proceed. Proceed with what? Well, yeah, I mean, your champion doesn't belong to your school, so that's for that guy over there to decide. Well, think about it a moment, would you? If Nino Marquis is our champion, then that means he's the head of the league club. But he's an exchange student. What is our long-term plan if he doesn't stick around? It's time to disband the club. That's what the plan is. There are so many particulars to sort out. It's weird that she's the one saying this when Amorous, I would think, would be the one saying it. And of course, if Kieran rejoins the Elite Four after having lost the rank of champion, that would push Crispin out of our ranks. Wait, what? That's bad, isn't it? <laughs> I kind of like that. I've always wondered what happens to a champion when they lose, if they ever get to join the Elite Four, you know? I'd like to hear from Kieran himself what he would like to do next. I'm kind of surprised Carmine didn't battle me again at some point here. Kieran? This guy's gone, man. He's, he's not doing okay. This is an announcement for the following students. BB League Champion Kieran, Top Elite Four member Drayton, Carmine of Class 3-2, Nita Marquis, our exchange student, Miss Briar, and some guests would like to see you. Is it Gita? Is she like, oh, you're a champion again? Please proceed to Classroom 1-4. It's going to be everybody congratulating me. They're going to be like, hey, Gita sucked as a champion. Paldea was a joke, but look at you go, man. You actually took down somebody competent. Why was Kieran probably the easiest one? I had a botch there at the end. No, because I lost a lot of Pokemon, didn't I? Yeah, I lost four Pokemon. That's pretty par for the course. Lacey was the easy one. What could that be about? Now, Now's not really the time. BB League champion Kieran. Huh. They're going to need to update that. Drayton, could you seriously not right now? <laughs> She's doing the... <laughs> I love that little axe. Like, <laughs> it's just not right. And certainly not kind. 
Well, we shouldn't leave Miss Briar hanging, or we'll never hear the end of it. Go on, Nato Marquis. We'll meet you there. Make sure Kieran comes, too, even if I gotta carry him. Or, I'll make sure. Yeah, you should probably grab this dude's not okay. This So, that dude... I mean, Duraladon, honestly, you're level 91. I mean, nobody even came close to touching you, so... You were overpowered anyways. You probably needed to come off the team anyway. I think this is the end, but I'm going to play out the story. I That was stupid. That was an absolute stupid loss. But it makes sense, to be fair. Like I said, Duraladon, you, this was a stupid loss. If I had uh, predicted that Protect better, or if I didn't go for Protect, I would have probably lived with Leviacy. That was a dumb loss. That one, you know, sometimes you can use Protect too much, and I definitely was using Protect way too much. I was trying to protect Enigma because I figured Enigma wasn't that strong. Um, but you know what? Actually, I put the wrong Pokemon there. Typhon is the one I did not mean to lose. Like I say, you're level 91. You probably needed to come off the team anyway. But all right. Well, that was absolute insanity. I, I, the only thing that really sucked, like I had three Pokemon that were going to come out of that. I can't believe I switched the wrong Pokemon out and I missed two Draco Meteors. Uh, that was absolute bogus. I can't believe that that's how it went down. <laughs> Glass from run 1 4. Right, go on, bud. I'll meet you there. Let me guess. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, man. Wow, yeah, I'm surprised you even say anything. Congratulations on becoming champion. But it seems we can't celebrate just yet with everything unsettled. There's nothing unsettled. There's just one guy that needs to go to therapy. Thank you. And Crispin? Oh, no, this is bad. If I'm not in the Elite Four, I can't use the Elite Four space at the Savannah Plaza anymore. Oh, yeah, you're... If anybody here... So you and you, group therapy immediately. Carmine, what do you think about all this? Thank you, Nita Marquis. Don't worry about Kiki. We should go see what Miss Briar wants. And what do you want? You have an action item for me. All right, well, let's, let's do it. Let's talk to you, I guess. Hey there, Nita Marquis. What brings you back up here? Just wanted to chat. Uh, you didn't watch the match? To chat with me? Well, well, well. Aren't I the popular one? By now, how's that blueberry Pokedex coming along? Come show... Oh, okay. That's what he's here for. All right. Never mind. My bad. I don't have a lot of Pokemon in the Pokedex, man. I'm doing a Nuzlocke. There's not much to be had. All right. Well, uh, I guess let's go. Congratulations on becoming the BB League champion. Oh, right. You, you just register me. I go myself to Classroom 1-4. So, I'm actually kind of curious if I go around, like, if I go to the cafeteria really quickly, does anybody know that I'm the champion? Yeah, I, I don't think anybody does. There's no place to enjoy a sandwich like the Coastal Biome. Um, I'm pretty, yeah, nobody, nobody knows I'm a champion yet. It hasn't spread. I can't handle the heights. No way can I do Amaris's Elite Trial. Dude, that was easy. It's a freebie. You've got to clear the elite trials. All right, so yeah, nobody knows that I'm the champion. Nobody's dialogue has changed. All right, uh, let's go to classroom. Go to classroom 3-2. I want to explore just a little bit. I want somebody to acknowledge that I am literally, like, I am the champion now. Our class has Amorous, the student council pres, and Carmine, the student body passed. Dang. Dude, Carmine, like, they, th when those two got sent as exchange students, apparently everyone's like, oh, thank God. Those two suck, man. Did you know if you uh, run in circles for a bit, you'll end up spinning in place? You guys have nothing good to offer, do you? Oh, wait, you know what? Actually, you know what? Before I go to 1-4, oh, wait, 1-4 is, isn't, yeah, 1-4 is the, no, League Club Room. That's where I want to go. There we go. You certainly, you guys are fully aware at this point that there's a new champion, right? My Tyrogue loves this treadmill. I didn't even use my Tyrogue. Pikachu and I are doing our best to fight our way through the BB League. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I guess we're just going to Classroom 1 4. All right, let's see what's up. I mean, I have a feeling there's no way. Like, you. There's a story here that still has to be had. Like, the students are all screwing around with their little drama stuff, and you're plotting the downfall of all of the world. Here we are, Miss B. You're going to put the B in Miss B. Thank you all for coming. I'm pleased to inform you that some very special guests are here to see you today. They left for a tour of the school mere minutes ago, but I believe they'll return soon. In the meantime, I'll fill you all in on the situation. Please have a seat. Don't mind if I do. These knees are cracking. You're not that old. Oh, please. Uh, yeah, exactly, Carmine. 
Uh, Nita Marquis, I'd heard you were busy battling your way up the BB League, but to think that you'd make it as far as champion, what a dazzling accomplishment. Uh, thanks, I guess. Like, Kieran was a joke, bro. Sorry, Miss Briar, but could we leave that for another time? What's this thing you wanted to tell us about? Yeah, when you need you need to distract Kieran right now. He needs to hear something that's more pressing, something that like takes his mind off this. My apologies, that was insensitive of me. Let me get straight to today's topic then. I want all of you here to join me in killing a god in Sinnoh on an expedition to the secluded a a and mysterious Area Zero. Sorry, for a second I thought it's secluded area. Area Zero, that's the place in Paldea you wanted to visit, right? You got permission? My main goals are to investigate the terrestrial phenomenon and gather samples of the crystals present in the crater. But to be honest, I also have one more ambition for this trip. You have no idea what went down down there, dude. I'm hoping that we can find Terra... Oh, that's right, Terra Pagos, the legendary Pokemon slumbering in Area Zero. So yeah, I think the Nuzlocke might actually be over. A legendary Pokemon. Oh, yeah, dude, you can't do that to him. Gita, I knew you were going to be here. I absolutely knew you were going to be here. A rather exciting idea, isn't it? Yeah, dude, you can't do that to Kieran, man. I already took one legendary from him. He can't take another one. Gita, you're not walking on the floor. You're kind of slipping and sliding. Oh, look at this. We brought the whole crew out, didn't we? There you are, Gita. I was just getting the kids up to speed. I do apologize for my tardiness. La Primera! Hmm? Champion Nina Marquis? I certainly didn't expect to run into you here. Wait a minute. Is she calling me champion because I beat Kieran, or is she calling me champion because I beat her? I, well, yeah, I guess I don't know. I was going to say, because I thought that you don't actually have to beat the, the baseline game. You don't have to beat it to do the, the DLC. I can't talk. But uh, uh, maybe that's not the case. Ah, of course, you must be participating in the student exchange program. Well, you're the one that asked me to be down here. How would you not know? Nino Marquis just got crowned our new BB League champion, too. Your talent is as brilliant as always, I see. Truly a wonderful thing. So, yeah, you needed to take down the Elite Four and you, actually all of the base game because Area Zero, you have to finish. Like, you can't go down there and not have done Arvin's arc. If you'll be going along, then I suppose that bodes well. Is it all right if I explain the situation to the children, Briar? By all means. First, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gita. I am the chairwoman of the Pokemon League in Paldea. More than a decade ago, the Pokemon League provided support for research on Area Zero, the great crater at the centra center of Paldea. Once that research was complete, we shifted our duties to monitoring and managing the area. Area Zero is full of mysteries and also danger. I knew there was some kind of conspiracy going on where you had funded all the crap that happened down there. Generally speaking, the area is off limits, even for research. Well, no, you weren't alive when it all started, but you get my point. Also, the side note, I just realized that's the second time I screwed up and got a Pokemon killed. Kill a Wattrell. I went for the wrong move. I meant to go for a Volt Switch in the base Nuzlocke, and when I selected the wrong move, I got killed for it. So, so this is the second time when Duraludon, I, <laughs> I swapped the wrong Pokemon out and ended up dying for it. So this is not new. <laughs> that being said... Recently, we've had to confront the possibility that dangerous Pokemon could escape the area. There's a clear need for further research, and quickly. I meant to go down and, and do the shiny hunter thing and hunt all of the uh, Paradox Pokemon, but I never did. But at our Pokemon League, we've had trouble finding capable personnel, not to mention time to study areas here. Grab Penny, grab Arvin. I know there's a lot of trauma going on here between, like, Arvin and now Kieran. There's going to be a little bit of group therapy going on. Crispin, too, possibly. In fact, you know what? You might as well just go ahead and throw him in there, too. You reached out to me as I've been requesting access to the area for quite some time now. I apologize that we are not better equipped to deal with this ourselves. Blueberry Academy has a wealth of highly skilled trainers with well-trained Pokemon. This seems like... Something like you would go to Cynthia and Steven Stone for this kind of stuff. You would not come to us. And with champion Nina Marquis also on the team, I'd know I could or I'd know I could safely initiate a new expedition. This is entirely voluntary, of course, but it would be very reassuring to have you with us. What do you say? Will you join our little team? I'm in. Splendid. Well said, champion Nina Marquis. Uh well. I think it's already decided that I'm going. Your spot will be very useful as always, Carmine. I appreciate having you on board. She's not even an elite club member. 
Sorry, but I'll pass on this one, brah. Like, league club's a whole mess right now. We got a steady hand on the wheel here. Shift it into gears, you know? We got one gear, it's go. You put it down into that gear and go. Sure, you can't just be bothered to travel all the way to Paldea, can you? <laughs> Guilty. I'm curious what our mighty ex-champion... You are pushing this guy over a cliff. He's going to try and kill me when he sees another legendary get slip out from underneath him. I'm going. If there's a legendary Pokemon there... I want to find it and catch it. This time, I won't let this chance go. Interesting. Then it's decided. It's too bad that Drayton won't be joining us, but it seems that the team will consist... Yeah, I kind of wanted Drayton, dude. You have my thanks for your help on this matter. I will look forward to... Why don't I turn around and say, Drayton, shut up, man, and come with us. I'm grateful for the opportunity, Gita. Leave it to me. By the way, I almost swore there. <laughs> My dream of exploring Area Zero is finally becoming a reality. Now, time to prepare. Let's meet by the bridge at the Academy entrance as soon as we're ready. So, I'm pretty much going to full screen. Yeah, let's just go full screen at this point because the Nuzlocke's over. I beat the champion. I won. There's nothing left, so I don't believe that there's anything I need to worry about. I have two Pokemon left, so let me... I don't know. Let me just go pour some coffee. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back with some coffee, and you know what? If you see the overlay stay up, that's because the Nuzlocke is not over. Um, I'm not doing what I did with the Isle of Armor, where I literally messed up and didn't finish the Nuzlocke. <laughs> it's the best battle out of all of it. It's weird that I can move the camera at all. Uh, the best battle out of all of it, and I didn't even finish it. I forgot because I thought it was over. I thought it was done. So if I, if I keep the Nuzlocke overlay up, that means that this is not over. I don't want to call the Nuzlocke early. Gita, you ready? It has been a while, champion Nina Marquis. Hiya, kiddo. Rika's here too, at your service. Not going to lie, I never dreamed we'd be running into you. Got more quizzes for me? I see that you are putting in the skills, or your skills, to good use and living up to your title as a Paldea champion, even while abroad. That is what champions do. After all, Gita, at this point, you're not a champion. You're just rich. Indeed. I would expect nothing less from a talented trainer such as yourself. Why is the game lagging? Oh, because it, it's Switch. Yeah, definitely got talent. Lots of talent. But not enough to get you off the hook. You went into the Great Crater without the League's permission, didn't you? Oh, d d me? No, uh-uh, absolutely not, no. Don't think you're gonna get, you're not gonna get a scolding for that. That's what champions do. <laughs> Don't forgive me. Oh, what's that got to do with anything? You can't just go breaking rules willy-nilly. Oh, uh, yeah, what I did was actually illegal, so calm down, Rika. No harm came to him after all. In fact, I saved the freaking world. And besides, we have good reason to believe that all of Paldea would have been at risk if the champion here, I'm sorry, if champion Nino Marquis here, hadn't ventured into Area Zero. Well, yeah, I mean, that's true, but fine, I'll let you off the hook one time. You'd better thank the boss for stepping in. He's going to kick my ass. Don't think poorly of Rika. She's just worried for you. I'm sorry, Rika. Now it fi You know, I went back and forth on gender on this one. I honestly didn't know what you were. <laughs> I didn't know because I couldn't tell because you never said, you know, you never referred to yourself. I never saw your eyes. You had the glasses on. I didn't know. Now then, champion Nina Marquis, this time you'll be heading to Area Zero with the official league's permission. Only a handful of people know about the incident involving the time machine. However, taking into account the dangers of Area Zero, I have elected to inform Miss Briar of what's happening. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. She is told if she knows what's going on, she's going to betray us. There's a huge battle coming. I know there is. She's going to betray us. She's going to try to resurrect the time machine. By the way, I do not believe at all. A bunch of people were saying that uh, it's not a time machine. It's a creation machine. It's a time machine. They, they, they are doing what they said they are doing. This plot line was definitely janky. <laughs> Speaking of, boss, didn't you say that you had something to give that Briar person? Yes, yes, I did. I'd forgotten about that. Champion Nino Marquis, would you be so kind as to take this for me? The Indigo Disc. All right. A mysterious disc with an indigo shine to it, given to you by the top champion. Nah, <laughs> I am the top champion. It seems to be tied with Area Zero. What is that, anyways? A TM or something? 
It is a disc that was sent by an area researcher to an investor some time ago. I had my investigation team look into it. It's certainly not a TM, nor is it a mere tool for storing data. I honestly have no idea what its true purpose is, but I assume it has to do with Area Zero. I figured since you're heading to Area Zero, I might as well ask you to investigate the purpose of this disc while you're there. Why aren't you coming with us? While he's there, huh? Did you want him to pick up some potato salad on the way back? That's exactly it. I do ask that you return the disc to me if you end up not finding a use for it. Oh, no. No, you don't introduce stuff. Oh, uh... Yeah, fun fact, it's been 20 years, but I never actually brought the orb back in Pokemon Sapphire version. So, <laughs> I it, 20 years later, I never took that thing back to the person that it belongs to. So, for you, there's no way this thing's coming back if it actually truly does one thing and then that's it. There is there is still much we don't know about Area Zero. Zero, Zero, Zero. I know you're already, or you've already been to its depths, but please exercise some caution while dealing with the environment and the Pokemon there. As a champion, it falls on you to protect and guide those accompanying you. Wish I could go with you, kiddo, but I've got my own work to do. Do your best down there. Don't push yourself too... Why aren't you guys coming? Well, do you realize how dangerous this is and you're not coming with? That means if, if there's any... like Basically what happens is that it's not actually dangerous, and then it turns out to be dangerous, and you didn't know. You weren't expecting it to be dangerous, and then you get surprised. Also, I noticed that... I never did the synchronized machine. Um, I saw the person in the center there have it. I never did that, so I can't fly with Miraidon. At least not vertically. Uh, go to the entrance. Alright, so far I see no reason to cut off the recording yet. Um, I, I have my Pokemon, but I don't have the Nuzlocke team ready to go, so... Kiki's awfully quiet. I hope he's okay. I thought he was, uh, if he was so bent out of shape. Yeah, he got bent all right. What you got, Kiki? Area zero, right? Come on, let's go. I want to get started. You just want to get those P Paradox Pokemon. I didn't even use Paradox Pokemon against you, by the way. Are you ready to travel? I am. Let's do this. Splendid. We're finally ready to set off then. She's going to betray us. Are you two feeling all right? Well enough to travel at least? Well, I'm... I'm fine anyways. Yeah, me too. I was going to say, you don't talk to your sister anymore. Isn't this kind of awkward? I've had time to calm down. Oh, well, that's good. I'm fine. I know what I have to do now. I'll find this legendary Pokemon in Area Zero, no matter what it takes. You can find them down in the Terraria, man. We paid for the DLC. We just get thrown legendaries like crazy. You can't even shiny hunt them, which... I guess it's funny because that used to not tick anybody off, and now everyone's pissed off about it. Um, that's the spirit, Kieran. All right, then. Shall we? 